Hola amigos de TV Agro. Hello friends of TV Agro. I'm Stephanie Gamboa and I'm a veterinary doctor in charge of the clinical laboratory at La Salle University and I welcome you. In the veterinary clinical laboratory, we seek to make use of the analytical tests for diagnosis, prevention and treatment control. Tratamientos. En este lugar hacemos pruebas de hematología. In this place we perform hematology tests, blood biochemistry tests, urine and fecal analysis tests. We also have the revision of trichograms and skin scrapings to search for mites and other ectoparasites that may affect our animals. También contamos con el análisis de citologías. We also offer cytology analysis either by imprinting, swabs, fine needle functions or fine needle aspiration functions. We also perform fluid analysis. Additionally, in the veterinary clinical laboratory of La Salle University, we have the support of the microbiology and parasitology areas. In these very specialized areas, we focus on the search for specific microorganisms that allow us to be better control our patients and thus contribute to the control of our habitat and that of our patients. La de nuestros pacientes. Asimismo, podemos hablar de enfermedades zoonóticas. We can also talk about the zoonotic diseases, which are important and mandatory control with some animals in the country. En el país. También en estas áreas, tanto en el laboratorio clínico. Both in the clinical veterinary laboratory and in the microbiology and parasitology laboratory, we have the possibility for students in their last semester to learn the different techniques. Aprendiendo de las diferentes técnicas, aprendiendo de correlación clínica, aprendiendo de las diferentes... Clinical correlation and other skills that we develop in this laboratory that allow them to advance in their careers and go deeper into subjects that they were not able to explore during their undergraduate studies. They are getting to know a little better, developing skills and recognizing their capabilities within veterinary medicine. Estas opciones que hay dentro de nuestra carrera la medicina veterinaria. En cuanto a los análisis, tenemos el cuadrimático. As for the analysis, we have the blood count with which we perform a hemocrit control to determine if our patient has an adequate erythrocyte volume or if he, she is presenting an anemia process or perhaps a dehydration process. Evaluación de los leucocitos o línea blanca que dentro de nuestro... We also evaluate the leucocytes or white line, which our explanation is focused on the immune response of our patients. Through this blood picture, we not only review the patient's current condition, but we can also better focus on diagnosis, treatment and complementary tests if necessary enfocar mejor nuestro diagnóstico, nuestro tratamiento y nuestras pruebas complementarias. Adicional a esto, en, en algunos cases, casos podemos encontrar algunos eh, agentes infecciosos que se puedan evidenciar en nuestros sanguíneos, como por ejemplo eh, las mórulas de erliquia o en algunos casos las dirofilarias. También contamos con la parte de las bioquímicas para revisar we also perform biochemical tests to evaluate the hepatic, renal and general functioning of many of our patients' organs. Muchos de los órganos de nuestro paciente que muchas veces se complementan con otras pruebas diagnósticas. These tests are complemented with other diagnostic tests on the clinical side. We also perform partial urine analysis to know its physical and chemical presentation presentación química mediante el estudio del pH, la presencia de bronto. 
including the study of pH, the presence of bilirubins, and to know the urinary density of our patient or specific gravity to know if we have any alteration to know if we have a kidney problem. Obviamente se hace la revisión mediante el microscopio para ver si hay algún tipo de alteración en su celularidad. We also check cellularity by microscopy. This analysis allows us to detect possible alterations. In addition, we perform coprological and coproscopic analysis that allows us to know if there are parasites or possible alterations in the microbiota that require treatment or specialized consultation. We have different staining possibilities. Las que más se utilizan en el laboratorio clínico, las de rutina, en el caso de la sangre, pues van a ser la tinción de Wright. The most commonly used in the routine clinical laboratory, for example, in the case of blood, is Wright's stain. In the case of fecal material, we use Gram stain. In the case of cytologies, we do an initial review of these tests. But if we find any type of cellularity that could be considered malignant or neoplastic, we refer the sample to the pathology area for a more specific review and therefore they will complement the patient's diagnosis. The veterinary clinical laboratory as a diagnostic tool and companion of the clinical area of the veterinary clinic, whether for small or large animals, must follow a protocol for its... The results issued are reliable. We start with a patient's profile, where we record basic information such as name, species and age. Nombre, especie, edad, tenemos los datos de su tutor, Y adicional a eso, una anamnesis o el motivo por el cual el... As well as a guardian's data and a short summary explaining why a specific test is requested. For this, it is important to maintain fluid communication between the clinical laboratory and the veterinary clinic, both in the case of small and large animals and even wild animals. También contamos con la parte de bioseguridad, la cual es muy importante debido a que algunas enfermedades son zoonóticas. Biosafety is very important in the laboratory, especially because some diseases are zoonotic. It is vital to generate confidence in the people who are part of the laboratory, so it is essential to use a cap, mask, gloves and gown, and if possible, use a change of shoes evitando así cualquier tipo de contaminación cruzada. Otro punto importante dentro de la recepción de las muestras. So it is feasible to control any cross contamination. Another key point in the reception of samples and communication is to know in which tubes the samples should be sent. For example, in the veterinary clinical laboratory, we need and we are focusing the students as well as the doctors on the proper use of the supplies, and that is why we remind them that blood samples are taken in the purple cap tube. In the case of biochemistry, we have two kits, which allow us to work with serum, either in a red cap tube or a yellow cap tube. O en plasma en tubo tapa verde. Para la parte de los parciales de orina, por lo general, el... Or perhaps in plasma with a green cap tube, for the part of the urine partials, in general, the patient's guardian can bring it in a special container for urine. Or here it is done through cystocentesis in some of the cases and it is passed in a tube without any type of additive. It is important to take into account coagulation times and special tests such as a D-dimer, which should come in blue cap tubes that have a special anticoagulant. It is important to remember that when performing hormonal tests, such as the measurement of cortisol, T4 and TSH, it is necessary that the patient is fasting adequately without affecting his or her health and if possible, without any type of medication, unless the test requires it. And in addition to that, it is preferable that these tests are taken in the morning hours for a correct interpretation of the results. 
It should also be remembered that this type of test is performed in serum, i.e. in red cap or yellow cap tubes. Finally, we always recommend to check the patient's well-being when taking the sample. An adequate analysis is made according to their needs, either for a general checkup, a control by disease or post-treatment. We always take into account which are the needs and requirements in which tube each test should be performed. It is also important to take into account the summary of pathologies and clinical history, which is a guide to the processing and correlation within the laboratory to issue accurate and reliable results without affecting the health of the animal or the guardian. Friends of TV Agro, I hope you like this information and that you use it in your practice, that you know it and take advantage of it. This was a tour of the Clinical Veterinary Laboratory of the Veterinary Clinic of La Salle University. See you next time. Nos vemos en una próxima oportunidad.